What's up, people? She got DJ Bishop back again with another video. And today, hopefully, it's enough light. Uh, let me see if I can get any more light. Hold on, I'm gonna try to get a little bit more light. Oh, yeah, I didn't even know that I did that. Okay, I want to review really quick, real quick, the Airy Hotel, A I R A Hotel in Bangkok. Um, 14 Supervit Soy 11, Bangkok, okay, Thailand. Thailand. Oh, what can I, how can I start with the hotel? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it, first of all, let me just get to, get right to it. I'm gonna give it five, five fingers, five stars all day. Um, I definitely had a great time. There are some pros and cons. Um, uh, I did definitely have, I was out here for two and a half weeks. I enjoyed my stay. Um, uh, the staff is, 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 is great. The staff is great. They're really nice. They smile all the time. They welcome you in and, and they give you, you know, great welcome. Welcome you to the hotel and everything. Hopefully this is straight. Let me see. Let me pull that up a little bit. Um, the area is great. The area is, is really great location if you want to be in the midst of things. So if you, if you're family, you, if you got a family, I wouldn't recommend it, but if you're a single guy, um, man, this thing don't seem like it's right, level right. If you're a single guy, I definitely would recommend it. <laughs> if you're a single guy, you out here trying to have fun, definitely come. Um, I, I, I'm gonna tell you why I don't recommend families, but if, let's just start with, if you're a single guy, um, you wanna have fun, there's a lot of bars, a lot of bars around this whole area. There's bars right below, the, the the there's a club on the roof. I'm on the 20th floor, at room 2005, uh, and um, the club goes on like I think Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I want to say four days. I don't know if it goes on Thursday. I know Wednesday they had a, a special white party, and I know Friday and Saturday the club goes. I don't know tomorrow or Sunday, so I'm not quite sure if it goes on Sunday or not. But the club goes until probably like one o'clock in the morning. Start about five. You really, I mean, no, it starts at 10. So 10 to um, one in the morning, the music is loud. Like I can hear it rattling my window. So you're not gonna get any sleep. So if you're here to sleep and have quiet enjoyment, I wouldn't recommend this hotel. This is more of a party hotel and uh, it's nice, it's really nice. I mean, you could bring your kids here, but the reason why I say don't bring your kids here because there's a lot of uh, like ladies outside, <laughs> like right outside the door waiting. So um, that might be a bit much for little kids, but you probably shouldn't be out there anyway. During the day, they're not there. So on the, during the day, it's cool. Nothing's going on, but at nighttime, once it gets dark, it's a whole different world out there. There's a lot of people just hanging out, a lot of people selling stuff, a lot of women selling stuff. I mean, it's, it's a lot going on downstairs, so um, might not be what you're looking for. And then there's a lot of, like, bars, bars everywhere. There's a bar down at the bottom of this building, a bar across the street, a club across the street. Bar, there's bars everywhere. So there's a lot of people just hanging out. So if you're not into the loud, a lot of people coming and going and, and hanging out, you, you, it's the same for you. But if you're into that, this is definitely <laughs> for you. You would definitely enjoy it. Um, as far as the facilities, they have a Starbucks downstairs. They have a pool. Pool is nice. Um, I think that opens, close at 10 o'clock or something like that. I, I didn't even get in the pool. I'm not really a, um, a person that get into, like, uh, outdoor pools and stuff like that. I, I mean, I'm really not into that. I kind of got a pool at my house, so uh, I'm kind of over the pool thing. So, uh, uh, plus, I don't like being in dirty pool water. So the pool's not for me, but for you it probably will be. But it has a pool, no jacuzzis. And then they have another room where you can have a hot tub, like a jacuzzi tub in your room, which will kind of be like right here. It's like probably a single person, like a uh, standalone tub. And you know, kind of set it off if you kind of got a lady or something like that. It's nice, but it's not meant for two people unless you're small. I'm a big guy, so I could probably only fit in there. And um, it's not big enough for two people. So it's not like that kind of jacuzzi tub. It's more like a single, it's not even a jacuzzi tub. It's more of a tub, a one person tub that sits out. It'll sit out in the room. And then you have a bigger, a little bit bigger room and then a shower, which has, uh, which I do like the shower has glass. And then 
and you can see from the room, I can show you right now. So like on this wall, there'll be glass and you can kind of see inside the shower. Okay, but it does have an enormous bed. I mean, that bed, you can put like four people in that bed. So there you go. You know, if you guys are trying to room with somebody, you and your roommate can definitely share that bed and you guys won't be like rubbing feet. You know, so it's a huge bed. I don't know why that bed is so big. It's like probably a California king, if that's what they feel like, because I don't have a California king, but I would assume that's what that is, because it's very huge. Um, shower is good. Hot water, great pressure. Um, toilet works good. Flushes, you can put tissue in there and that's not clogging up. Um, the room is freezing. It's hot in Thailand. Oh my God. It's got to be like 100 degrees every day. So the air condition is, is is you would appreciate the air condition, but it gets a little cold after a while. Maybe an hour in here, you got to turn off. Like right now, my AC is turned off because it's too cold. Um, I'm in here freezing, you know. So, uh, so the AC works good. I will complain about the TV because there's no, well, no, I'm not going to complain about it. I'm going to complain about Thailand. When you get different hotels, this hotel where there's no American channels on uh, the Thailand hotel network uh, network, because I've, I've stayed in Phuket and I stayed in Pattaya and they all got the same kind of channels. So there's no American channels. I mean, when I was in Dubai, I think I had like, I think Mexico, the only country that gives you a lot of channels. American channels. Dubai, maybe four channels in Dubai that was playing American movies where they were speaking in English. This place, only thing playing in English is the news, like BBC and another like news station. It's just all news. All the movie channels is in another language, like Dubai language, Arab language, and then there's uh, the, the Thai language. So, but the great thing about this hotel with the TV situation. It has Netflix and it has uh, YouTube. That's a, oh my God, that's a plus. And you can stream your TV. You can stream your phone to the TV. So that is, so I've been technically, when I'm in, in the room and I'm not outside watching YouTube all day and Netflix. So that's great. You just got to put your passwords and stuff in and then it works. So that's a plus because when I went to Phuket, there was one of them old TVs that they lock out everything and they don't allow you to use you know, they're too TV for internet, so you cannot do nothing but watch whatever channels they got. So that was, a, that was, that made me not want to be in a room when I had to be in there because I, I had nothing to watch, so I could just watch my phone. Um, nice security, that's another thing for me because I bring my little extra security lock that I, I bought off Amazon. And this hotel has uh, the deadbolt and a chain. I love how hotels that have a deadbolt because most of them don't have the deadbolt. They just have the, you know, the swipe card. So if somebody swipe the door, they can get in, you know. And then if you have the little chain on there, some people know how to pick that chain out, but you're not getting in here with that deadbolt. You turn the deadbolt and that, that thing is locked. So I do love that. And it has a peephole. So that's a great thing. Uh, what else can I say about this room? It's great. Furniture is decent. You get a, you get a table, chair. And you get another little couch, a little chair back there. Um, you do get a fridge. They stock it with, you know, stuff that you have to pay for. But they do give you free water. You get an iron. You have an ironing board, which is great. You know, so you can iron your clothes. Uh, you get robes and house shoes. Uh, what else can I say? You get um, a safe closet. Um, oh, it has all those plugs for you. You got a lot of USB um plugs and outlet so and it works for your american plug so um you don't need to bring like one of those uh, universal plug things just you know it, it works for american plugs and maybe europe plugs as well um i could show it to you matter of fact let me just show it to you and you can kind of look at it yourself and see what i'm talking about so you got USBs, and then you got this thing here, like American plugs plug in there and there. But then you got that little piece right here, so maybe that's a European plug, okay? All right. So, um, like I said, there's a club upstairs. There's a restaurant upstairs. There's a gym. Um, yeah, and it's a lot of stuff to do around here. So, 
that's a plus. So if you're a younger person and you want to party, 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 definitely this is the spot for you because you're right in, you're close to Nine Nine Plaza, which is the Walker Street. Uh, Terminal 21 Mall is just like a five minute walk right down to the main street and to the left. And you got Terminal 21. Central World is 10 minutes away. Take a cab. Uh, what else is around here? Uh, there is a 7-Eleven, five minutes that way. A lot of, you got Burger King, Taco Bell, and then you got a, just something I like to eat, the Soho, New York style pizza. There's a lot of pizza around here. Thai people must like pizza because there's pizza everywhere. Um, different, but it's okay. You know, it's eatable. And if you if you can eat anything, you'll, you'll love it. Because they got Indian food, they got American type food, they got Thai food, they got Mediterranean food, they got all kind of food around this area. Um, so you're not gonna go hungry, you know, lots of stuff to eat. And Taco Bell stays open till like four in the morning. So after you get out of the club, you can go to Taco Bell. I think that's the only thing that's really open that late, or the food trucks. You know, people got the food trucks everywhere. Uh, what else? What else can I say? But yeah, I get this hotel five fingers all day. And another good thing is, when you come upstairs, you have to use your, uh, you have to have a security, your, your room key to get upstairs. So nobody can just come up here anyway, unless they standing on your floor. And now your room key only works for your floor. You can't go to anybody else's floor. So I did learn that today. I was trying to go to the 22nd floor to see if I can get in the club from this elevator instead of going all the way down and getting on another elevator. But it wouldn't let me go up. So I guess that's the only way I can do it. Go downstairs and go to another elevator. And then for you guys that like, you know, that like the ladies, you can bring ladies to your room. Just letting you know. You know, this is the information y'all like to hear. So you can bring girls to your room. They don't say nothing. You just go downstairs and meet them, bring them up, and do what you do and take them back down. They don't take the girl's ID, which could be a problem, but I don't think they, they're they not drugging people or robbing people out here in Thailand. Not, 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 not knock on wood, not right now, but I haven't heard of any stories like that. So Thai people is pretty nice and friendly. So, um, whatever you doing, if you paying for play, tell them where you at, come down, go downstairs to get them, bring them right up, do what you gotta do. You can walk them back down and let them go down by themselves. So, and rinse and repeat, have fun, do what you gonna do. Um, uh, I think that's all I got for you. But yeah, this is definitely a place to stay. I would say, um, they do have the bigger rooms with the jacuzzi tub or bathtub that sits out like I took. Cause right now I don't, in this room, I don't have a bathtub. I just got a shower, but it's a big shower and the water pressure is just awesome. I mean, like it's hot and it's heavy pressure. So you have no problems with the shower. Um, I would say bring your own soap if you can. If you're gonna be here for a while, bring your bar of soap from home. Uh, because they don't give you, they do give you a lot of, uh, you have to ask for it. The body wash, I mean the little body wash, I mean you can squeeze out two things and it's, it's gone so you almost had to tell them to give you about four or five of them per day if you take a lot of showers because the body wash is kind of they, it's not like one of the body wash where it's just it's on the wall and you pump it out so that's how most of the hotels is it's like a big long thing and you pump it out they give you like little little personal size body wash things so i didn't quite like that but you know i i just talked to the lady i always tell her give me extra towels and um extra body wash Beautiful stuff. So, um, uh, the floor it is clean, really clean hotel. You know, they clean a the room for you every day, sweep the floor, give you a new towel, straighten up your bed. You know, just tell them you want your stuff clean. They normally they always in the hallway every time I come out there. So, and I tell them, hey, make sure you give me your extra towels. Give me like three extra towels, and they do it. So, um, but yeah, this is a great hotel. Um, I have no complaints. I have no complaints. Oh, I do have a complaint. Take that back. The bed's hard. The bed is not to my liking, but it's not that bad, but it's not that great neither. So, um, I'm a side sleeper, so I think this bed is a little too firm for me, but it might be firm for you, but for me, it's too firm. You know, I like a softer bed, um, you know, um, but yeah, other than that, no complaints. Yeah, so, I don't know, can you hear that music? You probably can't hear it, but it's, it's beating. But anyway, um, that's it. 15-minute video. I didn't mean it to go that long. I could have wrapped this thing up in 10. 
But uh, yeah, definitely check out, if you're in Thailand and you want to party, be in action, definitely check out the Area Hotel, A-I-R-A -A Hotel, since Sukum, Sukumvit, um, Soy 11, definitely something you want to check out. It's definitely right in the mix of everything. So you just go downstairs and you're in the party. Um, if you're not staying in your room and watch YouTube or Netflix, or go to the rooftop bar, have some fun down there, go to the pool, gym, whatever you want to do, they got it all. So, and the people, like I said, the, the workers here are very nice, really nice. So, let me get off this video. I got to get up out of here, and um, I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching my video. Peace.